Lucy Frank's people, see, they love packaging almost as much as Bill loved their weenies. A Maxi Frank box could fill a double-sized green garbage bag all on its own. Bill and Cheryl didn't even like to think about garbage. You put it in green plastic bags, tossed it out on the front sidewalk, and it went away. But where does it go? Jenny would demand. Just away, Big Bill would reply. Have another hot dog. One day, Jenny tells her dad, I'm never gonna eat another Maxi Frank, ever, ever, ever. And she switches to a diet of raw vegetables. Big Bill and Cheryl freak out. I mean, without animal protein, they were sure their daughter would waste away. They had to get her back to eating good, nutritious Maxi Franks. But how? Then, Big Bill remembers a commercial he saw on TV. It was all about a new theme park, Maxi Frank's Weenie Wonderland. So, Big Bill piles them into the family car. An hour later, they pull up in front of a hot dog the size of an incinerator stack. And on top, there was a big neon sign that said, Welcome to Weenie Wonderland. Man, you would not believe this place. In the middle of all the attractions was a huge square filled with barbecue pits around a monster fun bun fountain. And everyone who worked there was dressed up like plastic mustard and ketchup bottles. And the rides brought worse bumper cars, sausage scramblers, and red hot roller coasters. Oh, and of course, the Maxi Frank merry-go-round. And everybody, but everybody, was chowing down barbecue hot dogs. And the waste! Jenny was horrible. Half-eaten hot dogs and mangled buns littered the grounds. She decides she's gonna find the head office and register a complaint. And Big Bill, well, he had to keep Jenny happy if he expected her to start eating meat again, so he went along. Then Jenny spots a building behind the pickle pavilion. Jenny wanted to check it out to see if this was where she could make her complaint. Big Bill didn't think it was a good idea, especially when a couple of big armed guards told him to move along. So Jenny and Bill get themselves a couple of costumes. They fall in line behind a bunch of theme-dressed workers and slip right by the guards. So Jenny and Bill walk down this long, snaking corridor and come out in a big modern factory with huge pipes pumping some kind of mush into big open vats. High-pressure hoses squirt of the stuff into long, limp hot dog skins. Well, Big Bill's in seventh heaven. But suddenly, there was a shout, and Big Bill saw this nasty-looking security guard running towards him. They go racing down another long corridor, through another door, and then bam! They were standing in this huge concrete bunker full of trucks, dumping garbage and stuff into one great big pile. The smell was awful. Big Bill got dizzy and up chucked all over the place. Jenny had to help her dad out, but not before he saw the sign on the door. Makers of the Maxi Frank. Yeah, that's a true story. <laughs> it happened to a friend of a friend of mine. And Big Bill, well, he still barbecues every week. <laughs> but now he's cremating corn, braising beets, and uh, yeah, toasting tofu. This is a true story. It happened to a friend of a friend of mine. Mike was a stock boy at the local supermarket. It wasn't a bad job, as far as jobs go, but it was pretty boring. Loading groceries onto the 